Taxi Life released onto PC, Xbox, and PlayStation on March 7th. I've played over 7 hours of the game, and I'm going to share my unsponsored review of what I think of Taxi Life. So what is Taxi Life? It's an open world driving simulator where you take the role of a taxi driver in the city of Barcelona, Spain. But you're no ordinary taxi driver, and this isn't just a generic city. You are the owner of your own transportation business and are working to grow the company, and the city you drive in is an authentic, virtual recreation of Barcelona. Choose which clients to transport, explore and locate landmarks and graffiti for XP bonuses, and upgrade and repair your vehicles. It might sound easy, but with Barcelona's plethora of one-way multi-lane roads, congested roundabouts, cramped alleys, and unpredictable AI-controlled pedestrians and drivers, it can be quite a challenge. And yes, there are police who fine you for running red lights, speeding, and running people over. Not that I would do that. Taxi Life is priced between $30 to $40 for the base game, is playable for console, PC, and Steam Deck, though it's not deck verified, and is compatible with steering wheels and pedals made by Logitech and Thrustmaster. Seriously, I'm not making that name up. The game is solo only, takes about 30 hours to complete all upgrades, and currently has two DLCs a vintage car, and a supporter pack with new paint colors and other cosmetics. There are four different gameplay styles, from arcade to simulation, depending on how accurately you want to use the gearbox and clutch. Here is what I like most about Taxi Life. Taxi Life has been a great game to play in short sessions. It's relaxing, yet also challenging to control my vehicle and maneuver around AI cars and pedestrians. If I want more of a challenge, I can drive like it's GTA and try not to get caught by cops or traffic cams or run over the silly AI that loiter in the crosswalks. When I'm done with a trip, I can choose to leisurely explore Barcelona in search of points of interest or graffiti to get the bonus XP, I can gas up and wash my car, or I can return to the garage to make repairs from the body imprints on the front bumper, I can upgrade my car, or I can purchase new cars. The garage is also where you can manage employees, but I haven't wanted to complicate my game to that degree yet as I'm really enjoying running a solo business and progressing the game very slowly. Ever since I played Totally Reliable Delivery Service and the mail delivery RPG game called Lake, I've desired a game that combines relaxing delivery with exploration and unlockable upgrades. That's essentially what Taxi Life is, a delivery service where the goods are people. Okay, that sounds bad, but you know what I mean. I run an honest operation here. In addition to four different gameplay styles, there are several difficulty settings and various viewpoints for driving so you can find what's most comfortable for your driving style. In other words, you can make it cozy. I'm not playing Taxi Life for the realistic driving experience. I use an Xbox controller and I play on PC. I simply want to experience Barcelona, try to get my customers safely and quickly to their destination, and paint my car with pretty colors and soup it up with mechanical bling for extra AI smashing power. So what could be better about Taxi Life? As much as I have been enjoying Taxi Life, I do have a wish list and a few concerns. Number one, the AI definitely need tweaking because they act like they're tweaking. AI cars can stop in front of you for no reason and stay there, and pedestrians often twerk back and forth like jailbait until you find a way around them or run them down. Number two, after you stop at a light or park your car, your car will often roll backwards or forwards, requiring you to use the parking brake or stop and hold the brake, which has annoyed quite a few reviewers. Third, although the Taxi Life website promises dynamic weather and the car is equipped with wipers, I have yet to see a drop of precipitation and that could certainly add a nice variation to the gameplay. Fourth, 
between the four male-only character options and the very small handful of AI character models, we need some human variation. Heck, most of the AI dudes on the street look like the high-value targets from Call of Duty with their vibrant little tracksuits. Fifth, I have seen many reviews stating issues with the listed steering wheels not working properly with Taxi Life and requests for more supported wheel models. Next, from comments, reviews, and my own experience, Taxi Life has been difficult for some systems to handle. I've heard about frame drops and experienced a lot of stuttering when I first played, and I nearly returned the game. For me, reinstalling my graphics drivers fixed the issue, but I still experience occasional stuttering. And finally, four days after the game's release, the developers posted an update on Steam. Although they did acknowledge and promise adjustments to the AI and eventually more wheel compatibility, I guess I expected a bit more transparency about their future plans for the game. Are there new features planned? Will there be new maps or an enlarged map? Will there be more vehicle and character models? I'm just a little cautious about how committed the team might be to sticking with the game long term. Or are they already focusing on a new project in the driving sim genre? Looking at how their previous game Train Life was seemingly abandoned for Taxi Life, I fear a similar fate could be in the cards for Taxi Life. Is Taxi Life worth buying? Ultimately, I would consider these factors before purchasing Taxi Life. If you intend to play it with a steering wheel, check the compatibility list. I'll put a link in the description below. And also check the reviews for information on your particular wheel. If you're on console, check the reviews on your platform regarding game performance, especially if there is no refund option where you buy the game. If you're counting on continued game updates, you might want to wait and see if the game receives support. If you play with a controller on a decent PC and you just want a relaxing driving game with exploration and challenging moments, then Taxi Life is a solid recommendation. I love booting it up for a half hour in the morning or to wind down at night. As far as the $30 price tag, I look at it this way. If the game offers about 30 hours to max out levels, that's about a dollar per hour for relaxing entertainment, which is much cheaper than many other forms of recreation. Exploring Barcelona is charming. I feel motivated to give my customers a safe ride to their destination, so I receive as much money and XP as possible, and I want to upgrade my cars and company. When I'm tired of following rules, I can burn rubber, run lights, and drive like it's Grand Theft Auto. It's a fun simulation and delivery experience with entrepreneurial aspects and an immersive environment. Let me know what your thoughts are on Taxi Life. And if you enjoy sim and survival games, consider subscribing to the channel or dropping a like or a comment below. Thanks for watching.